Okay, ironically, it was kind of hard to find lots of Captain America sidekicks. You know, Batman has had a long list of people who have been Robins who have later become, you know, either their own characters as a Nightwing or Red Robin, or just stand to become Robin, or even the Red Hood. So, while trying to figure out which Batman sidekick, I said to go with Tim Drake, and I was like, all right, who is currently a Red Robin. I was like, okay, now let's go through Captain America's sidekicks. Not that many of them. So I had to go with Jack Flagg. Jack Flagg was part of the uh, Captain America hotline, so kind of like tech support for, for um, Captain America, who later decided to you know, get a, an amount of training and kind of go out and try to try to help Captain America deal with certain villains and whatnot. And he did, uh, he did sooner or later he got in contact with, I think, Mr. Hyde's formulas, and therefore regained, you know, super strength, durability, stamina, like light invulnerability against Tim Drake, who most people consider to be the more the more cerebral, the more detective version of Robin. You know, not as acrobatic as Dick, not as uh not as violent as Jason or Damien, but essentially just you know, he is the thinking man's Robin. Still a fantastic martial arts and great fighter. But he's more of the thinking man's Robin, so he's a lot less he's a lot less physically inclined than the other Robins. But that's really not saying much since most of them are, you know, severely peak level athletes. So we go through this in our in our standard, you know, not always looking at it. Intelligence. Well Jack Flagg is a master at computers. Versus Tim Drake, who most people consider to have genius level intelligence. Even Ra's al Ghul's kinda gone. Um I think in his mind he's already beaten us. So that's somebody who's a, who's a level of intelligence that's almost superior to Batman, because he's figured out things before Batman has. So intelligence has to go by far with Red Robin. Fighting ability. You know, well you got somebody who's got a decent level of training. You know, Red Robin, as soon as he decided to become to become a Robin, it would by Matt Morris told him, you know what, you have to go train with the following like masters. So you've got multiple master level training, you know, through the Batman style of learning, which is kind of you're gonna learn from these people. Yeah, they're going to whoop the crap out of you repeatedly. Over time, you will learn to not get beat up by these people. You will learn to master their arts. You will learn to combine their arts with someone else's arts to almost blend your own sort of style. Versus a guy who's got a decent level of martial arts training, but it's hard to beat the level of training that Batman's going to have you go through. So we got two for Red Robin. Strength, you know, somebody who's been doused with chemicals that enhance someone's, you know, strength and overall physical abilities. You know, the strength the has to go to, to Jack Flagg. Speed. You know, for these two, they're both roughly human level speed. But you got someone who has more of a more of a superhuman level of dealing with things, so I'll have to go with Jack Flagg. Durability. Again, you've got superhuman level of stamina versus peak physical condition. And vulnerability, you know, with this one, I'll give this one to Red Robin, primarily knowing that when it comes to someone who's trained with Batman, you learn how to wear at least some form of armor to help protect you against, you know, you don't have any super skills to fall back on. It's more or less what you know and what you can wear in some sort of fake armor. So I'll give essentially like an armor bonus when it comes to, to vulnerability to, to Red Robin. Energy projection. Again, in these sorts of fights, it's more of how good are you at a distance. You know, Jack Flag, while he's got some kind of like uh, minor explosives and things used to essentially to help disorientate opponents, Red Robin essentially has like his own arsenal because he's learned from Batman how to. You know, you need throwing weapons. You need you know, items you can use to to distract people. You need grappling hooks. You need you know, you don't fly. You need every single gadget you can possibly think of and carry it on your person in small compartments. Versatility. Okay, again, we're looking at somebody who's got lots of really unique skills over here in Jack Flag versus somebody who is, you know, like a master level detector, detective, genius level intelligence, has been trained by Batman, has actually gone out to create, create his own career. So, again, you have to get that one 
to, to, to Red Robin. And then the X Factor. And if you got somebody who's been, who has potentially a somewhat unstable level of superhuman strength, so it might actually become augmented during time, versus someone who's been trained by Batman. So we got Batman training, and very light Captain America training, you know, kind of like a, more of a buddy of Captain America. So kind of like a Jimmy Olsen with superpowers and some fighting skills. So with that one, I have to give that one again to Red Robin. Because, you know, with the level of skill that he has to learn, and he's been trained a lot longer than Jack Flagg has been. So for Red Robin versus Jack Flagg, it's six to three. You know, even though, even though Jack by far is probably the, the physical superior out of these two, He's taking on the guy who's got better fighting skills, better distance, you know, genius level of intelligence, as well as who probably who has a lot more experience on on his opponent. So that one, Red Robin takes Jack Flag.